good morning students in this video we will see the projection of planes for this question number 2 that means then the plane is inclined to one of this plane okay. so the given question is a circular plate of diameter 50 mm rest on HP on a point on the circumference with its surface inclined at 45 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP draw the projection so according to the given question uh, we have to assume that first whenever we are dealing with this uh, projection of plane when one of the plane one, one of the sides or surface is inclined to any one of the vertical or horizontal plane first we have to uh, assume that there is no inclination that means uh, uh, this is uh, the plane the plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP so first we have to assume in this way we have to uh, draw the true shape on which plane we will get the true shape we have to identify that plane and we have to draw the true shape on the plane so according to this question so if you are assuming <coughs> that the given circular plate is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP now we will get that uh, true view on HP that means on uh, on when you see from the top you can get the true view okay go to this software type units set in millimeters type limits 0 comma 0 then try to zoom all take a line draw a reference line press f8 300 mm so now type text This very small, increase the text size, text, text height you give 5, number of rotation 0, so now you type x, now you use y, above the line vp, below the line hp, so once you mark the planes, now we have to draw the true shape of the uh, given uh, object so the object given here is circular plate so we will get the true shape on the top plane that means when you see from the top you will get the true shape uh, top view we have to draw it on horizontal plane so take a circle draw a circle what is the radius given diameter is 50 mm then radius is 25 mm take a circle and put radius as 25 <coughs> so to get the front view uh, what we will do we will project from the corners of the corners from the top view but uh, since it is a circle there is no corners for the circle so we have to create corners for the circle so by dividing this circle so take a line start from the center and go to this circumference and using the array option you have to divide the circle into 8 equal parts so select this vertical line enter now select polar array now it will ask you to send to specify the center point of the array click the center of the circle and enter the item number as 8 So once you divide the circle to 8 equal parts, then give the naming. So again go to the text command, text. So I'm going to take it as A dash, B dash. So once you give a uh, name for all the corners, now you project uh, a vertical line up to this reference line from each corner. So you start from A. So this line is common for both A and uh, E. Next start from B dash. This line is common for B and D. Next C. So 
if you projected vertical power lines from all the corners then again take a line and join the uh, end point of this projected corners so you have to connect end to end so don't put as a single line see here I have drawn four lines so to differentiate it so select all the four lines and increase the thickness as well as the color so I increase the thickness but it is not visible here you will have this line weight option you have to switch on this one so now you can see now give the corners so this is the G so for front view uh, put without dash so here H is the uh, visible corners so put H and the F in the F within the bracket copy will be A outside uh, E within the bracket likewise B outside and D within the bracket last one last point is last one is C C is the visible corner so put it without bracket so and uh, put point on all the corners on the front view so take a point specific point at all corners so go and change the point style select the second one set size and absolute range so now I got all the points now what we have to do select all the points along with the lines along with the letters and select copy and select this as a base point and move to the right and place it press escape okay. now we have to rotate this line for the given inclination it is given as 45 degree to HP this HP we have to mark it on BP so again select all the points as well as the line and click on the rotate option and select G as the base point and you have to rotate it by 45 degree so give 45 enter so now I rotated it by 45 degree so we will check the angle go to this angular dimensions select these two lines so it is 45 degree now uh, what we have to do we have to project uh, vertical lines from the uh, top from the front view as well as horizontal line from the corners of the top view okay. so first take a line so draw you have to extend this line that the end point of this line should come beyond this circle okay so extend uh, vertical lines from all the corners So extended vertical lines now extend horizontal prime on the corner starting from A then this line is common for B and H this line is common for C and the G so once uh, extended the lines next what you have to do 
now we have to mark the corners so first i will put up points so this line is this this uh, this point is a here the line <coughs> a from the top view like a from the front view are intersecting here so i put a point next go to b so b is here okay next go to c c is here d e then this is f g and this is h okay so now i connected all the now i put all the points at the intersections now you can give the naming you put it as a1 dash H one. Once you give all the points, now we have to connect the, all these points. Uh, use the spline option. S P L I N E spline. Start from A. A, B. C, D, E, F, G, H, and it A, and then press enter. Okay. So now I connected with this A. So now select this arc. You can increase the thickness. So to differentiate this from the geometrical lines. Now. Uh, mention this diameter of the circle using this diameter or radius option anyone uh, you can use so I'm using this diameter select this circle mention the diameter and at the bottom uh, you have to write so you know what to write so you have to write all dimensions are in mm all dimensions are in mm uh, now we have completed this uh, projections for this second question for the next one we will see it in the next video so I will attach this uh, in a PDF format in my website I will share the link uh, for my personal website in the description box so I will tell you how to convert this into a PDF so go to plot this printer option and see plot select Microsoft printer PDF a4 sheet size then windows I click that entire thing click center the plot click landscape check the preview okay this preview is fine okay. go to uh, this clip I'm going to save it on my folder Place close clear incline to HP. Thanks, guys.